Well, as you know, uh, I believe in the process of interviewing, and this has just created a safe space for me on an annual basis to interview myself and reflect back on how I've grown, how my ideas have changed, and um, and uh, what it allows me to see is that I am growing, <laughs> and I'm not the same person that I was four years ago when we started this. And um, sometimes I think when you're in life and you're just caught up in the day to day, you forget that you have grown that you let go of that old belief or that limiting belief and you're actually evolving into higher forms of thought. And so uh, this process has been um, well worth it. That's why I show up every year and I'll continue to show up because of that. As you know, I've gotten clients from some of my Capture Your Flag videos, um, but uh, they see the human side of me. There's, um, you know, sometimes I'll admit that when I'm on stage, because I have this PowerPoint and this specific talk and specific objectives, I'm not always able to share all of who I am. But for right now, I'm just being me. And uh, so they, I think people see a more authentic uh, version of me. We're, we're just in the living room. We're just talking. We're just chatting. And there happened to be a camera there and a microphone. And so... Um, I love that about uh, the Capture Your Flag interviews and uh, uh, it's no, it's not about me conveying a message, it's about me sharing my story and that's, that's what I love about it. And I think that's what other people love about it too. Honestly, I think that anybody can benefit from this process. Uh, as soon as my newborn gets to talking, <laughs> I hope that they can have interviews like this and see how they're growing and evolving, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally every single year. Um, I know my wife one day, she showed me this series called Seven Up, where this guy interviewed uh, kids from when they were seven every seven years. And I think they're up to age 56 now. And we were just captivated by how these people grew and evolved and changed uh, in these seven year periods. Uh, and so honestly, I think it can be beneficial to anyone. But uh, in particular, um, I think it could be uh, valuable to organizations who are trying to understand um, the characteristics and the behaviors and the beliefs of their highest performers and their most committed, committed employees so that they can actually integrate that into the hiring process and find more like-minded individuals who will be a fit for them. You know, oftentimes recruiting is this spray and pray strategy where I'm going to reach out to all these schools, I'm gonna take the best GPAs and anybody who has student leadership and, and then I'm gonna to try to make them a fit for my organization. I think there's a more targeted way if you have the information and, and these observations from your highest performers of how to identify who's actually going to succeed in this organization. So that's would be my recommendation.